there YouTube and welcome to a ranking video. So I'm Random Ross and I thought now that you know, the free takes on Black Christmas have been reviewed on this channel, I thought why not now rank all free. So here we go. This is all my personal opinion, none of you have to agree with it. If you have your own opinions then do share down in the comments below. But this is my ranking of all three Black Christmases. So let's go. And number three is Black Christmas 2019. Now, as I said in my review, yeah, a lot to say on this, like, you know, how men are sort of portrayed in this film. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah, they, they are meant to be antagonists, but, you know, I just, I just didn't think this was a great take on it, you know, I mean... Yeah, I get that, they, yeah, I like that they went in a different direction with the whole killer horror elements, and it wasn't a total rehash, but this one, I, I have to say, just wasn't as good as the other two, so, yeah, I'm putting that at number three. And number two, it is Black Christmas 2006. Now, I like this remake. It was a, a fairly decent remake, and was created with the kills with the bags over their heads and everything, and, you know, I did like that where Billy like peels a bit of his mother's flesh off, bakes them in the oven and makes gingerbread cookies out of them. I thought that was pretty creative, uh, but I feel that they got too much depth and, you know, told too much of Billy's backstory. You know, the beauty of the original was we have no idea who Billy is, what his intentions are, or what he wants or, or anything but in this they give the whole mystery away which for me kind of made him less threatening and less sort of scary and more of an angry yellow man and of course at number one it is the original 1974 you can't beat the original it is the best one it is unsettling it is dark a little boring in the middle act but you know the whole mystique behind billy not knowing who he is what he wants, how he got in the house, why he's doing what he's doing, and that unsettling ending where, you know, he's still possibly there, and we get like, a, you know, we see that final image of the girl with a bag on her head dead in the attic. I thought that was a bone chilling ending, and, you know, this set the, you know, they say Halloween set the whole slasher genre up. No, I'd say it's Black Christmas that inspired it. This, I feel, was a prototype slasher. And you, know, if it weren't for Hall if it weren't for this one, I don't think we would have had Halloween. And John Carpenter admitted that. Also, I think the 1979 film, When a Stranger Calls, has a lot to owe to this film because of the creepy phone call subplot that they did in this. So yeah, that is my ranking for Black Christmas. So number three, 2019. Number two, 2006. And number one, 1974. So really, as each reboot has gone on, it's not it's gone down in quality, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that has been my ranking for Black Christmas, uh, all three films. So yeah, do you agree with this list? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description. So yeah, until next time, don't have nightmares. Thank you.